One of the biggest things about commercial Christmas is that there's always an element of snow. There are those white snowflakes hanging on your Christmas tree, and that fake snow lining at the bottom of shopping windows displays at your local mall. Christmas is seen as pure as snow and freezing cold, because it's Christmas and a winter holiday. Yet, it has never been that for Australia, and it has never been that for me. It's summer right now, and yet our commercial Christmas still focuses on the white Christmas. Which I totally understand, because to me, any Australian Christmas carol is a bit gross, and a white Christmas is seemingly beautiful. I've only really lived in hot countries. Singapore was near the equator, and Sudan was in the middle of a desert. And with the, and with the move to Papua New Guinea being only a few weeks away, which is kind of terrifying, I don't even get a Christmas tree this year. I love Christmas. Come to think of it, it may even be my favorite holiday. I get to spend time with my extended family, and it's a joyous occasion. But Christmas leads up to New Year's, and a new year comes with change. I've never been afraid of change, but this one time, I am. There are so many people I've gotten to know over the past five years living in Australia, and because of that, there's so many people I have to say goodbye to. One of the scariest things about saying goodbye is that you may never say hello again. And I know that I will, but there's still that possibility that the people I know now, I may never be friends with. <laughs> I think I know how you feel with your legal adulthood looming close. I've only got one year left of high school, and I'm in a different country, and then I'm in a different country to my parents, or so my parents goes. Possibly living by myself and not even a legal adult by then. On a different note, I accept my punishment. This video is a day late. Merry Christmas, Nina. Have a happy new year.